Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose for those of you that are new. Um, today we're going to be doing a dollar store tutorial kind of haul thing. I've seen a few of these videos on YouTube and I just kind of wanted to try it and see how they work, how it goes. Um, I did find a few dollar, uh, sorry, I did find a few elf products at the dollar store. So, I just want to see how it works out and how it all goes. I did not find a primer at the dollar store though, so I'm not going to be able to use any face primer or any eyeshadow primer um, in the video, but let me share with you the products that I did get, and yeah, we'll start from there. So, they did have these though. They had some e.l.f. products. Um, I got these e.l.f. lip stains which I'm excited to use, which is really cool because I don't think they're going to have what e.l.f. products at the Dollar Tree. Um, then I got this Color Mates eyeshadow palette. And I got this Sassy Chick BB Cream in the shade Medium 1. I got this Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick in the color Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. I got this liquid makeup foundation in the color Tan. Uh, I got a brow powder. I got some eyelashes. So we'll see how these work out. I think they even come with glue. Um, I got this Sassy Chick foundation in the color dark one. Um, and then I got this eyeshadow in the color Crème Brûlée. And I also got this Bold Plump Lashes by LA Colors. Oh, and then I got this LA Colors um, pressed foundation in the color tan. So let's get started with this tutorial and see how it goes. I'm honestly kind of scared to use these products. I don't know if it's going to like burn my face or not. Yesterday, I got this from Dollar Tree too and I used it yesterday and it literally burned underneath my eyes because I have really sensitive skin. So I don't know if it's going to burn my face or not. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so as I said, they didn't have a primer. So I'm not going to be able to use a primer today for my face or my eyes. So we will see how that goes. Okay, so I just wanted to wipe down my face, make sure there was nothing on there. So, I will be using my own sponge to put my foundation on. I just literally, I, oh. I'm going to be also using my own beauty blender to put my foundation on and I don't know which one I'm going to use. I think I might use one from LA Colors just because I know their brand is a little bit better because I've never heard of Sassy Chick before but I have heard of LA Colors. So this is the tube. Oh, this is in the color tan. But we'll just open both of them and see what the colors look like. This is the Sassy Chick. So, there's the Sassy Chick. There's Sassy Chick. And here is the. I like this LA Colors one because it has a pump and the lid locks. So, they're pretty close in color. Except for the Sassy Chick is a little bit. It's like a shade darker. So, at this point I could probably use either one, but I think I'm going to go with the LA Colors. Just because the Sassy Chick might be a tad dark for my face. Okay. How do we... 
this pump is like really hard though. Okay. And this is supposed to be medium to full coverage, so we'll see how it works out. So there's the foundation. I'm taking it on my beauty blender. I'm going to dab it on my face. I don't know exactly how much we'll need, but we will see. So far, it feels like really creamy and smooth. Um, kind of wet though, but if I had to, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to do half the face with alley colors and the other half with the sassy chick. And I will see which one I recommend to you guys. Because I know a lot of people can't afford high-end makeup. I'm really blessed I can, but I know there's a lot of people out there that can't afford high-end makeup. And if you have to wear makeup from the Dollar Tree, I mean, you have to. Like, I'm not going to judge you. Nobody should judge you on that. And if they do, they're just assholes. Like, if I had to, I would wear makeup from the Dollar Tree. Just because how much I love makeup... I would buy my makeup from the Dollar Tree if I had to. So, this side is the LA Colors. Um, the cover, the, see if can, the, I don't know, the coverage is okay, I suppose. I mean, it's not the best, but it's okay. And, okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Sassy Chick foundation. This one just comes right out. It doesn't have a pump. So let's see how this one works. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this one actually feels a little bit better than the Ellie colors. Do you see how it's making my face super shiny though? Like it almost looks like my face is wet. Because of how shiny and liquidy this foundation is. Ow! I just poked myself in the eye. Okay, let me make sure I blended it that all in very well. I'm trying to sort of blind it myself. Okay, so this half is Sassy Chick. This half is Sassy Chick. This half is the LA Colors. If I had to choose one, I would choose the LA Colors just because it came off more as a matte finish, 
towards where the sassy chick came off as a shiny finish. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so that way you can see a little bit better. See, it has some, the coverage from the LA girls is okay. I mean, if I had to, if I needed more uh, coverage buildup, I could probably just keep packing it on and I could probably get more uh, coverage. So I'm just gonna go over with a pressed powder. And I'm just gonna take this LA Girls pressed powder in the color tan. And I'm just gonna use this to go over the whole face. And I'm taking my e.l.f. foundation brush. Ooh, this is really powdery. This is actually helping it a lot, so, yeah. If I, I would probably recommend this, um, Press Powder by LA Girls. I know Alexis Jada use a lot, uses a lot of LA Girl products in her, in her videos, and she always talks about them. And she claims that they're just amazing. So this is the LA Girls Pressed Powder in the color tan. So if I had to, I would recommend this because it totally turned my face into a matte finish. And it gave me a lot of coverage. Like, you could tell, like, I'm impressed with that. I'm really impressed with that LA Girls Pressed Powder. Like, so if you have to rock make it from the Dollar Tree, you get the LA Girls Press Powder. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with uh, the eyeshadow. And we're using the Color Mates eyeshadows in the shade Island Oasis. And it says 12 long wearing fashion eyeshadows. So we shall see. Uh, it does say in big letters, discontinued use of irritation occurs. That kind of scares me. <laughs> so, for our base, though, we're going to be using the Wet n Wild the shade Crème Brûlée. And we're going to be using this as a base as our transition color because damn if I get all this damn package we could right okay there you go I'm just throwing these all the way as a going because I don't want to use it again this is in the wet and wild in the shade crambule it's C251B Brulee is what it is. Okay. So I'm just going to take a I'm turning Pro LAB2 flat eyeshadow brush. You know what? Let's just swatch it. Just for the fuck of it. Let's swatch it. Wow, though, look at that. Oh my god. And that's wet and wild. Holy shit. That is good. And the fill of it is not bad at all. So I'd probably recommend that. But wet and wild is like a pretty good product because I was actually raving about it in another video that will be that will be posted up here either tonight or tomorrow and I was doing a um, drugstore haul and I got this really nice wet and wild palette and I mean 
I paid four dollars for it, and then I got a hard candy palette that I paid ten dollars for, and the Wet n Wild palette just totally smashed all over the hard candy palette. The colors were so pigmented, so smooth, so beautiful. Like I could have compared it to one of my higher end palettes. And I'm really picky about my eyeshadows. Okay. So there's our base in our transition color. All the products I'm using will be listed below in the description box if you want to know what they are. Okay. So now we're going in with the A. Color mates. Oh, you don't really use that little brush. Okay, so taking a crease brush and I'm going to take this. These are all really shimmery shades. We'll swatch them as well. And I'm going to take this nice, I guess this gold color right here is what we'll take. That's going to go on our crease. They're pretty pigmented, I suppose. I mean, for a dollar, they're all right. Like, you can see the shine a little bit. We are going to have to build them up. So, I mean, but so far so good. Well, they're not too bad. I mean, they're, it, it's pretty pigmented. And I only have to go over it twice, but I'm also not tapping off any of the excess powder because I don't. I'm trying to get all the shadow I can get. Let's go over that again. So there's our eyes so far. They don't look too bad. Um, they're actually a lot better than we thought they were going to be. So, yeah, that is a plus because I didn't think they were going to be that bad. Sorry, I'm trying to get this light. It's like really bugging me. Okay, so now we're just going to go in with a flat shader brush. Gonna go on the flat with a flat eyeshadow brush, and we're gonna take this light burgundy color right here. Actually, a light, we're gonna take just our same crease brush that we were just using. 
No, I like on that too. We're gonna take this flat eyeshadow brush. But we are gonna go in with that nice burgundy color. And we're just gonna take this right on our lower crease. I'm getting a lot of fallout though. A lot of fallout. As you can see. That's a lot of fallout. So I'm just going to take a wipe me. And just wipe that right off. And then. Just go back over it. Now to our other eye, and just again on our lower crease. Our lower crease almost to our lid. We're gonna do almost the whole lid, but we are gonna leave a little, just a little bit open. Minus the fallout, these eyeshadows are not that bad, and I would recommend them. So here's our second shade. So I would recommend these eyeshadows if I had to. Like, if you actually had to buy them, I would recommend them. So the next color we're going to go in with is just let me see where we're at right now i'm just going to take this nice white color right here and i'm just going to add it to the corner of our eyes and that's it just to give our eyes some highlight So that is it for our eyes. Now we're going to go to the brows. Sorry. So we're going to put some mascara. This is the LA Colors Plump Volume Mascara. Okay. There it is. Okay, then we're going to go in with a new lip stain by e.l.f. These look kind of old. I don't know about these. We'll see. They look like kind of old. These do not smell the best. Yeah, 
ideas do not. Smell very good. I do not like the way it's going on my lips. It's like really cracky. You can tell that they should not be selling these. These are really old. As soon as I put the, they're so old. As soon as I put the gloss over it, it wipes right off. They're that old. take this color mate's eyebrow color and I'm just gonna run right over my brows really fast just to see how they work how they work and it's just an eyeshadow that's in here so I'm not gonna be able to do my brows in depth it's just this really dark brown eyeshadow This has no wax or anything. Well, that is my Dollar Tree makeup tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did not put the lashes on just because I, I'm just scared of using that glue. So, yeah, this is my Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. Um, all the products I use will be listed below in the description box, and I will also add swatches. And I hope you all enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys all next time on my next video. Bye.